Welcome fellow immigrant in Finland. Are you struggling to make friends? Don't worry, you are not alone. I have been here for six years. That's right, six years. It's closer to a full decade than zero. And I've only managed to make one true friend, Finnish friend. I have other friends, of course. It's not that I'm not trying, it's just that Finns are a little bit unique breed. You see, Finns have a reputation for being cold and reserved, and it can make it a little bit hard to feel welcome and integrate. And if you don't speak Finnish, <laughs> well, good luck. But fear not, my friend, for I have encountered several types of Finns during my stay here, and allow me to share with you some of my findings. Maybe it will be helpful to kind of navigate this friendship path in Finland. A little disclaimer. After I talk about the types I encountered, I will share a few anecdotes where Finns showed kind spirit and helped me. Uh, because this whole types thing is pretty much roasting, so let's get started. Firstly, there is the icebreaker. This person will ignore you until they're put in a situation where they have to talk to you. It can be years before they exchange a few words with you. But hey, after the icebreaker moment, there is a chance they will just normally start talking with you. You will no longer be a scary stranger or something. Then there is the high schooler. You like them, they like you, but that's as far as it goes. They have enough friends from before and you're not gonna be one of them, sorry. Next up, we have Too Busy Finn. They claim to be too busy to see you, but in reality, they're just sitting at home with their cat. Finns also love recreation and being alone, so it's no surprise that they're always busy. Then there is the shy Finn. They're a mix of everything. And they think that their bad behavior will be excused with the Joker card, but I'm a shy Finn. As if that's an excuse, I'm a fiery, dramatic, passionate creation. And who cares about that? Nobody. And that's alright. So how about being a nicer person instead of using the I'm just like that excuse? Finns do love to generalize about themselves, but let me tell you, those who care about you will show effort, even here in Finland. It's rare, but it's possible. Don't let them fool you with garbage excuses. Last but not the least, we have the effort expector. This is roughly 99% of Finns in my experience. I might be living in some weird bubble, just saying that. They expect you to make all the effort in the friendship. If you don't send a message or invite them to places, then that's the end of that. They will never make the first move. There's special subbreed of this type which says no to everything so you put an effort you're greeted with no 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 every time you try to see this person until the whole friendship just evaporates and you just lose mojo to ever contact this person again i had several peoples like that in my life and i feel honestly like a fool for asking so many times to go and hang out just to be rejected one more time it took me a long time to realize that they will never hang out with me but hey, we'll live and learn. Yeah, I don't want to roast Finns this entire video. I actually think Finns are warm, kind, nice people. And I have a few anecdotes to back this up. So let's talk about that. When I first arrived in Finland, I was broke, jobless and desperate. So I did what any sane person would do. I walked into a bar and asked the boss for a job. Yes. And guess what? He gave me one. I think it was because of my Balkan charm and witty banter, but he later told me it was because he wanted to help, like, just help me. And to top it off, he even returned the apartment keys so I could start my new job in Helsinki. Talking about going above and beyond, I have one more. One time, I had to take the train to the airport in Finland for the first time. It took me 10 minutes to realize that they don't have a ticket selling counters. It's all done with machine. Of course, I'm in Finland. I. I didn't know that at the time. And then I got my ticket and thought, hmm, I needed to board a specific train because this is how it works in Croatia, at least the last time I used the train. But it turns out I could use pretty much any train for 90 minutes, including the one that goes to the airport. I was desperate and, and stopped the girl who was walking past me for help. Not only she took me to the train lane, 
She even hugged me and wished me all the best, talking about setting wrong expectations for Finland. I made it to the airport and I had plenty of time to spare and I was just blown away by the kindness of this stranger. Now let's ask a few Finns what they think about friendships here. I'm honestly eager to hear answers and I hope for drama. I promised to ask a Finn about friendship situation, so can you have this microphone so it can hear you well? We have a special guest, Kara, to tell us more about her experiences uh, with Finns uh, in relationship context. So, watch here. Mm -hmm. Do you consider yourself having like a big friendship circle? Well, I have a feeling that I have a lot of friends, but it's not like this tight circle. They're like separate people. Mm -hmm. And I'm not hanging out with my friends, like very often but i know that they're there for me and okay uh well that that's a really important thing when it comes to hanging out um what is not often for you like the, and what do you know from different people's experiences do Finns like to hang out like every other day once per week once per month like what do you think about that well i think when i was younger it was definitely the case that you would hang out with somebody like like every other day but as we grow older i can see that also in myself that i don't really feel like doing that anymore mm -hmm. i like my peace and quiet and i just like to be at home a lot because i'm tired i get tired after work and school and stuff like that so i would say that maybe during weekends once in a while i hang out with my friends okay and the last question for you who makes the first move? Because I noticed that if I don't make a first move, I would never see anyone ever again. And that bothers me. Yeah, I've noticed that's an issue. <laughs> because, well, I have some friends who are very consistent and they are always sending me messages and be like, hey, you want to hang out? And then also I get the feeling that I'm doing the same for them. But then... Of course, I have a lot of friends who I know, like, deep within, I know that we are still friends, but we are not, well, <laughs> but we are not sending messages to each other. Like, I feel like I have some friends that I'm always the one who, like, is sending the message and being like, hey, you want to hang out? But I'm never getting it back from them, which is unfair situation. So annoying. Oh my but God. I've just accepted the fact that if I want to hang out with these people, then I need to send a message. I personally decided that I'm not bothering um, for people like that anymore. Yeah. To, to exhausting. You feel always like crap. Yeah, it's this not balance. nice. I'm, I'm not doing that anymore that much. I, I just realized that it's not like a good balance. No. Because you need to put effort both ways, so... Yeah, completely agreed. Okay, I lied. I have one more question. No. And this is the final question. Go and then we'll move on. Is it hard to find new Finnish friends in adulthood? Let's say you are somewhere around 30 years old or something like that. Mm -hmm. So is it possible, is it easy or hard or what is it to find new Finnish friends? Are people open to new friendships? Well, yeah, that's a bit tricky i think if you don't have like if you're not in school and studying something or if you don't have a hobby, yeah, maybe. hobby or something like that yeah it's definitely difficult i don't know where where do you find friends then like people don't just go outside and knock on each other's doors like hey you want to hang out maybe we should do that yeah. we should normalize that because when i was a kid that was the way i was getting friends i literally just walked in the neighborhood and knocked on random doors and asked like do you have children here <laughs> and if they did i was like want to play <laughs> i wish we could do that though i have similar stories so in first grade first day of school yeah uh we had tables with two people uh, being able to sit together and there was one empty space uh, and I, I needed to act like super fast so I just went there one little girl was sitting there and I just uh, came close and asked like can I sit with you so we can be friends and she was just yes we were friends <laughs> yeah. 
Because for me right now, because I'm studying, so for me it was easy to get new friends because we have the same interests. Yeah, and yeah. Stuff. It's a natural way to get friends. But if you don't have that and if you don't have any hobbies and I don't know, nowadays a lot of working happens remotely, so that's also... Oh yeah, yeah. it's a big issue. So I don't know, how could you get friends? I've seen some people like trying to look for friends online. I think that's the way you can do it nowadays. I don't but think that. But thank you so much. We actually have immigranti. Immigranti. No essential interview. Well, you're here, I'm here. It makes only sense. Of course. So, do you have a lot of Finnish friends? No. That was a great interview. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Why do you think that is? Well, because... Well, now, uh, Karo's replies got me thinking. I think it has to do with age as well. Because by the time you're 30, you're already quite busy with work and just a tired, tired human. And so you rely on your established friendship to fill in the very small gaps of time that you have in your week. So I guess it's, it's, it takes like an extra effort to then try to make new friendships or like who has energy for that or willpower. Like I'm, 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 I'm trying, I'm starting to like see it maybe a little bit from a different perspective. Because for us, you know, we just moved here and we are like eager to meet people. Yeah, we didn't just move here, Antonia. It's been six years. <laughs> okay, but think about it. Other people our age have been living here their whole lives. That is so true. compared to that, we just moved. Yeah, we still have this excitement. We don't have to integrate. Yes, we don't have childhood friends here. You know, <laughs> that we can just rely on. So we are like very eager to meet someone and we are very eager to invest this time into other yeah, people. That is true. And they are just like, well, I like you as a person and it would be ha- fun to hang out. But this week, I'm tired. No, not this happening. week. And then next month. week, then next week. Oh, I'm tired again. So it's not happening. So, yeah, it's complicated. But do you think uh, oh, with all these obstacles, uh, things are still a little bit harder to get like they're just yes uh, but i think it's also cultural in a way that uh, there's a higher threshold to to hang out mm-hmm. because you know in croatia it's just like after work you're like let's grab coffee with yes. your co-worker and then everyone goes like there's no preparation no announcement or anything they're just like oh okay i have half an hour let's grab coffee and we do and there's no like are we friends enough for this or like have we announced this three weeks prior? Yeah, Finns do love a lot so of that preparation, we no spontaneous... Which, you know, I also, I appreciate some preparation and some announcement. But, but not always. But, but at the same time, I can be spontaneous. What's the word? Spontaneous. Spon- spontaneity. Spontaneity. Hmm. Again, us two with big words that we cannot even say, Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think fans, fans, Finns, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, like that, that um, Jean. Uh, it, everything needs to be weeks in advance, like very detailed organization. Like there is no way you can organize like get together, like on Friday, like, hey, they want to come on Saturday afternoon, like let's just hang out. Nobody will come. Nobody will come. Tried that, didn't go well. But anyways. Yes, but also... Uh, ah, you have more things to say, I will stay here. Yes. Um... There's also a higher threshold for plan hanging out. Because, you know, when we agree that we are going to hang out, we just get together at the specified time. That's it. There's no like, what are we going to do? Do we need to rent equipment for our <laughs> hangout? It's just like, no, we like gather. But it's different with, for example, when the two of us are hanging out. like. I would be in a city and I would just shoot your message. Are you home? Yes. Okay, let's see. Okay. It's like that. But but I could do that with anyone because I just, you know, I, like, I want to get to know them. So I just want to have a conversation, whatever. Then we can have coffee or we can have a meal or, or we can just sit at the bench, you know. It's not like, let's rent equipment and go like skydiving. Yeah, Finns are a little bit snobbish when it comes to like, what are we going to do? It's either like a bar sometimes or it's like very expensive activity that's like 
Hey, let's go golfing together. Let's go skiing together. Bish, I don't have all the equipment and renting everything is... But I don't know what that is. It might be just that... Mm, that's the only uh, reason to spend your time outside of the comfort of your home. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Common company does not qualify. Ah, oh, it's a good enough company. It has to be uh, followed with some nice, cool, fancy activity. Mm. Well, I think you might touch something interesting here. We're thinking about... Anyways, um, I think this segment is long enough, so I'm gonna... Uh, okay, what is my hourly rate? No, hourly oh, rate. Oh. My friendship. My friendship! Oh, wait. We have a Finn that wants to add something. Let's go back. Okay, so I wanted to add, because where I come from... North. And, well, yeah, I originally come from North, but I lived in South, in this little city called Lahti. Uh, so there, I like, we had this culture that we would go hang out with our friends just to somebody's place and have coffee. That's it. That was it. So there was no, like, fancy plans included, and that was very spontaneous. Like, you could just send a message, hey, can I come for coffee? And that was like, yeah, sure. But I feel like here in Helsinki, people are... Ex- yeah, let's bash Helsinki. Yeah. People. Like, I, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I feel here people expect that that we should have, like, some fancy plans or, like, do something. I don't know. But this this just my... I agree completely with uh, you. Yeah, because back in Lahti, we could just go and sit in somebody's kitchen and have coffee for, like, an hour and that's it. It was very, like, low effort. Yeah, this is how you hang out with people in yeah. my world as well. Right? Even if it's a new person, then you can go with, like, I don't know, even with few people to somebody's place to have coffee. Yeah, for example. Yeah. Boom, wild idea there. Elsie Usima, did you hear this? Yeah. Wow. Okay, <laughs> I'm looking forward to comments in comments section, I hope uh, to get some drama. Uh oh. Okay. In conclusion, making friends in Finland is a damn hard job for anyone, even Finns themselves. But if you really want to hang out with people, then you just need to accept the fact that you will always need to put a little bit more extra effort, like a little bit more. Or maybe you're just a lucky person who will bump into other persons that are equally receptive of other people and everyone will balance it out when it comes to showing effort. I don't know. Anyways, good luck, Chowski. See you next time.